Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Z. So hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. This is going to be a general read for Geminis. Um, I hope that it resonates with you guys. This is definitely for February, actually. So yeah, um, if you want to book a personal read, like if you are serious about booking a personal read, y'all, you can definitely contact me. Use the link in my description box below. Make sure you read all the information as well, like the prices. Everything is in the description box below. So yeah, and I look forward to hearing from you too if you are interested in a personal read because they're definitely more accurate, y'all. Like if you definitely, if you have like some type of issue or just like something that you need insight or clarity on, then I can definitely help you. So yeah. What messages does Gemini need to hear for February? What does Gemini need to know for February? Okay. okay. So we got the Queen of Wands showing up. Some of you guys could be connected here to a fire sign. It could be like an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. But Leo is definitely, is like standing out more with this Queen of Wands showing up. For some of you guys, um, it looks like here you're definitely moving on from a certain situation as well. It's like maybe feel more confident. It's like... I feel like if you're a Gemini woman watching this, you should, it's like you get your confidence back. You really in your power with this Queen of Wands. Because this Six of Wands, to, I mean, this Six of Swords to me, I feel like this could have been the Queen of Wands. But it's like now, uh-uh, she, look, she on her throne. She's looking like really, really good too. Let's see. What other messages do you have for Gemini for February? Yeah, the Sun card. So I'm getting like a lot of Leo energy for someone i see something in regards to like a relationship or a partnership for someone here as well for some of you guys you could have found out that you were um you could be finding out that you're like expecting what other messages do you have for gemini for february yeah that six of swords shot to pop out yeah, the hermit. Yeah, for some of y'all, you could definitely feel, I feel like somebody feels like super, super confident in regards to like leaving a situation. So it could have been a relationship for someone. It's like maybe there was like a lot of conflict or whatever the case is. So we got the hermit that's showing up here too. For some of y'all, it's like you're going to be going into hermit mode. You're going to be spending time alone. But it's like you're not pressed about being alone. Like from what I'm seeing, yeah. What other messages does Gemini need to hear for February? What else do they need to know about February? Uh -oh. What else does Gemini need to know about February? Yeah, Six of Cups. For some of you guys, you're needing to... Um, it's almost like staying to yourself in regards to like a past energy with the Six of Cups. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're healing from a past issue but the way it's showing up, it's like somebody's like really not pressed, y'all. It's like maybe you were before, like when it first happened, but it's like, no, you're in your nine of pentacles type of energy, the queen of wands. We got the sun card and the hermit. Like the hermit is not pressed about being in no type of like relationship. But yeah, with the, um, the nine of pentacles showing up with the six of cups, for some of you guys, it's like it's showing where someone's like single, like super single. And there could be like a past um energy resurface and we are currently still in mercury retrograde as of today but yeah it's like keeping to yourself not going outside yeah it looked like gemini you're staying inside you're not going outside because the outside is like when you're going outside it's like the past energy from what's showing up <laughs> that's how i'm seeing it you see they're outside the hermit inside alone let me see tell me about this queen of wands for gemini tell me about this queen of wands for gemini justice the sun for some of you guys you're gonna be speaking your truth to someone you could be wanting to speak your truth to a, a um a fire sign they don't have to be a fire sign that it could like their sun sign don't have to be fire, but their moon could be like fire too. Um, you could find this person like very, very attractive. It's like they could look like a like a goddess to you. I guess you can say like if you're a male Gemini watching this, that's the way it's showing up. But you could definitely be about to speak your truth to someone. Or you could definitely be wanting balance in a situation um, or like peace 
towards a situation. Because I see where there was some type of conflict, y'all. It's like you could have had conflict with a fire sign. Tell me more about this um, Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands for Gemini? For some years, you could have been waiting for some type of communication as well. But I feel like there was some type of conflict in regards to like someone moving forward towards the situation. Um, I do see new love happening for you too. But it's like someone was in a, it's like you could have been needing to make a decision in regards to like a past situation, whatever you moved on from, or like going into a new direction. So it looks like here, maybe you were waiting for some type of clarity about like a new love situation. Judgment was below, yeah. The way it's showing up. The um, judgment, ace of cups, and the six of swords. Yeah, it looks like you guys are making a decision about moving forward. And you're moving forward towards new love from what's showing up here. Tell me about the hermit. I see a situation with a child, though. You could have had conflict with, uh, like, maybe somebody, um, I feel like maybe the mother of someone's child is like a fire sign. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, the lover. So, yeah, for some guys, you went into hermit mode here or you're, I don't know, you could be in hermit mode. I don't know. But it's definitely in regards to, like, a relationship, a partnership, something ended here. But it looked like you cut this off. Like, you could have already known Queen of Swords showing up here with the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, you cut this energy off, whether you're male or female. Tell me about this Six of Cups. It looks like somebody cut something off, right, or ended one thing from a situation, but they're moving on towards something new. It's like you right back out there. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Gemini. Yeah, so, yeah, something new popped up. Now, this could be... Yeah, for some of you guys, you're, you were healing from like a past situation here, but I see something new popping up. Somebody has a child. Like, I keep seeing kids. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Page of Cups. For some of you guys, you're moving forward towards something new. You could definitely be admiring someone. It's like someone that you have some type of like memory with. Yeah. Like, you're moving towards what makes you happy, or I don't know what the case is, but yeah. What's the Page of Cups? It looks like you freed yourself, too, from a situation. Sorry, I was reading an email. Yeah, four of swords. Someone could be connected to an earth sign, or you could be, you could have earth in a chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It is a masculine energy showing up. Yeah, I feel like the, the masculine energy is showing up as, like, guarded or, like, um, like, hurt. Yeah. It's like you could have been in a third party situation. I feel like a yeah, a fire sign female had like a Gemini male in a third party situation. But it looks like you guys were like recovering from this situation. But it looks like you got something new coming in with this page of cups. It looks like you already know about this as well. Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So it's like an earth sign. I see Virgo, heavy. Yeah, someone was like healing from a past situation. Ugh, I wish the cards would stop falling on the floor. Yeah, the star card showing up here. For some of y'all, it's like if you had some type of tower moment or like an unexpected ending with a person here, y'all, with the tower. Um... And then we got the star card showing up. It's just want you to have faith, like, in the future of your love life, like, where you're headed. So it's just like, hey, stay low for a little bit. Stay inside if you need to with the hermit card showing up. Because it looks like someone's healing. Whatever you've been manifesting, I don't know, in regards, to, like, whatever you're wanting, y'all. Um, It's like somebody was manifesting something, right? But in the tower moment, it happened. So it's like... The universe making way, making room for like what you was asking for. So whatever that is for you, it looks like it's coming in 
for some of you guys, you could have been like holding on to this connection here too. There's some type of communication or something that someone's holding on to. Their need is to like release it. Yeah. Tell me more here for Gemini for February. How many minutes I got? Oh, I just seen 10, 10. I haven't seen that number in a while too. Tell me more for Gemini for February. I see the seven of stories. There was some type of deception that you, like you were moving on from. Yeah, not a pentacle. So somebody single, single. And you're about to go into like a new partnership, y'all. You're about to be moving forward. If you're single, single, it's like maybe somebody caught your eye or something. Yeah. Tell me more. For Gemini. Yeah, the moon card, king of swords. So yeah, for some of you guys, um, with the moon card showing up here, I do see, so I feel like this could be you, Gemini. Yeah, for some of you guys, there's some type of secret. You could be holding on to some type of secret that's going to be, like you're going to be um, releasing it. It's through communication for someone from what's showing up. Tell me about this um, page of cups. I feel like it's that page of cups. Like, you could be secretly admiring someone or someone secretly admiring you. Tell me, what is this Page of Cups? And I'm going to end the read. Tell me about this Page of Cups for Gemini. Yeah, Five of Swords. Someone's still dwelling on the past, like something that happened in the past, but you don't see that there's like a hidden blessing behind like something new that you're going into. Tell me more about this page of cups. Tell me more. Yeah, the full card. So yeah, it looks like you're going to be taking a leap of faith towards something new, but it looks like you freed yourself from one situation, Gemini. And yeah, it's definitely wanting you to start new. This is like all fresh new energy. It's like the air smell good too. Like you, they look good. He, she, is wanting you to trust yourself. I feel like someone's gonna be, yeah, someone's gonna be like freeing themselves or speaking their truth towards someone. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I feel like why they couldn't really communicate is because they were still dwelling on, it's like why they weren't coming in with some type of like offer with this Knight of Cups is because they were still dwelling on the past. So yeah, that's what's showing up here. I'm going to end the read here. I hope that it was helpful and insightful. Of course, you guys can like, comment, and subscribe.